Well, there have been some fantastic cars on TV and the movies throughout the years. And today, reporter Chris Urquhart found a huge collection of them at the Hollywood Star Cars Museum. Take a look. These are the originals. These are not replicas. If you love Hollywood, you'll love this place. If you love cars, you'll love this place. If you love both, book a trip now. Walk in the door and immediately say hello to the original TV Batmobile. We ask people not to touch them and stuff, but kids are going to be kids and guys are going to be guys. It's kind of hard not to touch something when you see something as unusual as this car itself. Tom's been working here for years. He's passionate about the place. 90% of our vehicles still run and run beautiful. There are more than 40, none of them knockoffs, all straight from the sets. Plenty from the Fast and the Furious, the Dodge General Lee from Dukes of Hazard, Herbie the Love Bug. Ghostbusters! Who are you going to call? Well, it's right there, the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And one of the most iconic movie rides of them all. Yep, it's the Back to the Future DeLorean in perfect condition. Bikes as well, a Harley Fat Boy from Terminator. Remember it? Now, not every car in the museum is a high adrenaline, high octane ride. This one is the Flintmobile from the Flintstones movie in the 90s. And I tell you, this car gives a whole new meaning to putting your foot to the floor. Yabba dabba do. There are plenty from TV and they go way back. Is this an automobile or is this an automobile? The Munsters' Dragula, one of the iconic Jeeps from the TV show MASH. Oh, and don't hassle the hop. I know we're approaching a residential neighbourhood. We dare not continue this chase. This one even talks too. I understand the request, but I will need a little time. These are not simple calculations and evaluations. And it's not just cars from the movies, famous previous owners too. This Thunderbird belonged to the Beach Boys, the Lincoln Continental, once driven by Elvis. And when you visit, there'll probably be some new ones as well. We're constantly changing. We try to get three to six cars a year on the average. Worth a stop, but be careful where you park.